This video will show you how to install the Nightlock Lockdown door barricade. This is the door plate. It goes right here. This is the floor plate. It goes right here. And this is the locking handle. When in use, it connects the door plate and the floor plate. These are the binding post bolts that go through the door to hold on the door plate. And these are the floor screws with cement anchors in case you have a cement floor. These are the tools you're going to need to install the lockdown device. Don't forget your safety glasses. You'll need a drill driver. You'll need some tape uh, to mark the door position. You'll need a screwdriver, Phillips head, a hammer, a chisel, and these drill bits. A quarter inch, a three eighths, a five sixteenths uh, masonry bit. And if you're installing the low profile floor plate, you'll need this one and a quarter diamond grit hole saw. And some Loctite. There are two options you need to consider when ordering your night lock lockdown device. The first is the floor plate. It comes in two sizes. This is the low profile floor plate. It's only one eighth of an inch thick and perfect for high traffic areas. Or you can choose the thicker plate, which is three eighths of an inch thick. With the thinner low profile floor plate, it takes one extra step for installation. It needs a small hole in the floor underneath the center hole. We'll show you how to do that. The second option you need to consider when ordering your locks is the color of the locking handle. The red colored handle is perfect for schools or other commercial applications. You can also choose the brush nickel color handles. They're a great choice for residential use. Now you want to mount the night lock lockdown um, right where the, the door hangs naturally. There it is right there. We're going to use this tape to mark the floor where the door naturally hangs, we want to make sure the door is always at this spot while we're mounting the door lock. We're going to mount the floor plate underneath the doorknob, the opening side of the door. And we're going to put it about one and three quarters of an inch above the floor. Mark your hole positions with a pencil. Use a one quarter inch multi-purpose drill bit from the inside of the door If your door has a stainless steel kick plate attached just run your drill slower and with more pressure Okay, now we're going to go to the outside of the door with the 3 8 drill Position your binding post nuts into the holes from the outside of the door. Now we'll come back inside the room. All right, we're going to mount this door plate right here. You can use a little Loctite to keep the binding posts secure. Use your screwdriver to tighten the binding posts. All right, now we're going to show you where to put the floor plate. And this is how we do it. We slip this in here like this. So you can center it like that. And in order to get this right, make sure your door is still in line with your marker. Center that. Go like this. Keep filming. We're using a low profile floor plate, so you need to mark the center hole too. Use the 5 16 masonry bit for the holes in the cement floor, but if you have a wood floor, you can just use a 3 16 wood bit to make a pilot hole. After vacuuming the site, check to make sure 
that your two inch screws go all the way into the floor. Good. Okay, pull them out. Begin. You can use a little Loctite in the floor holes. Then tap the blue plastic cement anchors into the floor holes. If you're using the 3 8 floor plate, you can now screw it to the floor. Okay, but we're going to use the 8 inch floor plate. So we need to make our hole here so the handle can drop through. And we're going to use a diamond grit hole saw. You only have to make this 3 8 to a half inch deep. Then you take a chisel and chip out the center into a flat surface. Now you can fasten the floor plate to the floor. You can use your regular screwdriver or you can use an impact driver. And now you can try out your Nightlock Lockdown Door Barricade.